visit my mom at Memory Care right now, and I thought I would take a quick video of my surroundings because this is even a prettier road than the one I showed you the other day. And this is a really kind of a, it's a more clear day today. You can see those big mountains off in the distance, but uh, yeah, I'm tired. We took a Ernie to the eye specialist this morning. That was in Upland, which is about, well, it's about an hour and a half from where we live, but uh, with traffic it takes, I think, gosh, it took us over two hours today, which was real fun. Everyone going to work and, and whatnot. Um, but yeah, his eyes checked out fine. They found a little cyst in the corner, which I guess is common in older dogs, just like they can get them on their, their bodies. But because he's diabetic, they check his eyes once a year for cataracts and all of that. And the good news is, he's, uh, the specialist said that his cataracts aren't any worse than for another dog, you know, his age that's aging. And nothing needs to be done right now. Unfortunately, with diabetic dogs, that could change real quick. But we've taken him once a year past three years I think now. He had a little bit of a surgery. He got an ulcer when he first got diabetes and they did kind of a, the least invasive surgery they could do and that healed it okay but prior to that the wound wasn't healing and that happens with you know human diabetics so the wound wasn't healing. I mean I think we were doing drops like seven times a day. Steroid drops. Um, look at that over there. It's really pretty. And all the flowers. It's always, you know, very landscaped while in the desert and all of that. Um, anyway, um, the drops weren't working and so they did a, like a debridement and so now once a year they check and surprisingly his his eyes are, are doing really, really well. You know, very, very slightly cloudy but what they said that's like is for us when we need reading glasses and they don't have reading glasses for talks so that's good news. And so came home, took a nap, because I had to get up at 5 a.m. I am not a morning person. And now I'm heading to visit my mom at memory care. And I always rest up before that, because if anybody knows, my mom has Alzheimer's. And if anybody knows what that's like, uh, you need a lot of patience. And I love to visit my mom, but I always like to be as rested and, and as least stressed as I can be, because, you know, she repeats herself and that can get tedious at times. And it's not even really that, it's all the other residents that come up to me. They, you know, I'm like a new face every time I come in there, obviously. So they all gravitate towards me and, and wanna ask questions. I didn't bring Ernie today because he's really, really tired from sitting in the car. He was snoring away when I left. But normally I bring him and, and of course that's a, oh my gosh, it's a, it's a novelty. They all come running, so. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I just wanted to share a little bit of this beautiful day. It is 75 degrees right now, so I'm in heaven. It's normally like 120 degrees or something here, so I am so pleased with this. And uh, yeah, I might do a video about diabetes, how to recognize diabetes in dogs. I've come across so many people that don't understand, you know, how do you know your dog has diabetes? I didn't know you could, your dog could get diabetes. So. I might do a little video about that because that might help somebody, you know, hopefully nobody ever has that with their dog, but, oh, here's a really good mountain right there. It's really pretty. Yeah, lots of good mountains on this drive or good views anyway. Yeah, I might do that just so people can know what to look for. It's not much different than in humans, to be honest, but, you know, if, if you've never gone through it before, you might not know that there's, you might just think your dog's sick you might not know that there's something seriously wrong with them. So, you know, I hope everybody is doing wonderful today. And I will talk to you later. Just wanted to share some of these glorious views. I'm almost there to visit my mommy. And that'll be fun. She's got a she's got a boyfriend now, so it's quite cute. I usually find her sitting with him. And if he's not with her, he's taking a nap. So, <laughs> Anyway, hope you guys are having a great Monday, and I will talk to you later. Bye.